I must apologise, Teal. Did I frighten you? I'm sorry. I had no <laughs> idea I had to help my old man fetch some stuff in. I had no oh. idea he was fetching that much back so much. No, <laughs> no problem sorry. at all. No, no problem. So what uh, uh I just went back to get the uh the orb I missed from the guy who ate me. because uh, oh. I, I have the ability to do that now. Um oh. it's uh I, I will demonstrate. Uh, you turn into a rock. Do you? No. I turn into this guy and I oh. can throw bombs. Oh. Oh you so you like become the species. Yeah. Uh... which is pretty cool. Here I am. <laughs> So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And it's pretty effective, as it turns out. If you can hear me slurping, I've got a cup of tea. Oh, uh, no, no, I cannot. But, oh, get away! <laughs> and I'm just going to turn back. It's much more effective as a uh, as scaler. If, I mean, I don't even know if that's his... We should really look at what his name I'm is. I'm going to look up his name, because this game has, like, a big... Well, its company has a vast Wikipedia article. I'm gonna scale a, a scale of video game. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, this is so cool. Like, I wasn't expecting the like, the. I was thinking, oh, maybe we'll get a new ability. Not, we actually transform into a different character, kind of thing. Yeah. Which okay. Is cool. Prior to the start of the game, okay, lizard-loving animal activist Bobby Scaler Jenkins. <laughs> so Scaler is his nickname. Right. He I discovers see. that five extra-dimensional humanoid reptilian creatures, who we will um, know more about as we play the game. Yeah. Um, they blah blah blah. They're bad guys. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I won't spoil. I won't say. say yeah. Anything this is more this is it. cool. That is cool. Uh, the company. Oh boy. Oh baby. <laughs> Uh, artificial. What was the, what was the name that came up when you booted the game? Do you remember? Because uh, uh, they've got different names. They 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 go by it different names now. Ao two or something. Okay. A, A something two maybe. Um, I think. So they were originally artificial mind and movement. Yes. Okay. And they've worked on the Grinch for the PlayStation Grinch game. Uh, yeah, Bugs that's, Bunny, that's Taz so. Time Busters, Smurf Racer, Monsters Inc. Screen Team. In some places it's called Scare Island, is that right? Uh, yes. I think actually it might vary depending on version. One's PS1, one's PS2. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, Lizzie McGuire 2, Lizzie Diary. <laughs> I read that as lizard diaries. Too much lizard stuff going on. I thought you said Maguire's... Lizzie dies. <laughs> Lizzie McGuire lizard well, that's diaries. Bleak. Didn't expect her to die in the sequel, but alright. Sure, why not? Yeah. Um, Scooby Doo, Unmasked. Cool. That's a Raven 2. So, whoa! I didn't do that's a Raven 1, I that's a Raven 2. I, I, I'm whoa. surprised there's even a that's a Raven 1 for a game, yeah. but okay. Ed and the Neddy, The Misadventures. <laughs> Please tell me it's Miss Adventures. It, oh, it absolutely is. It Excellent. Absolutely is. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Well done. Yeah. The Monster House game. I've never seen that. Oh. Film. Oh, you've not seen Monster House. Oh, you no. would love it. You would love it. It is Who right on the street. Uh. Oh, actually, I'm not sure. Um. I don't think it's any of the major companies. I might be wrong in saying that. I know there's a really funny scene where he's playing basketball and he hits himself in the head and it looks... It's genuinely really great though. It's it's a really good film. I, I think you would really enjoy it. Uh, screenplay. Cool. Dan Harmon. Oh, the community guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a pleasant... What a pleasant... Weird surprise. I was not expecting that, that's him Monster to be... That's Monster House and not Scalar, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan Harmon didn't work on Scalar, don't worry. I mean, that would be something. Yeah. Um. I do this a lot when I record you, I go on Wikipedia. <laughs> um. Wikipedia is a wealth of knowledge. It's, yeah. It's great. But who. Okay, produced by this. 
company? Yeah, what is the, the company? Okay, it's R Relativity Media. Okay, th this is this is like I'll, I'll do this another day. This is. <laughs> I, I thought it would be. I just assumed it'd be like a recognizable studio. I'd see their name and I'd be like, oh, oh, oh it was them. But yeah, yeah I'll, no. give, I'll give this. I, I'm pretty while. sure they're uh, they're like a really not well-known studio. It might. I'm sure it's not the only film they've made, but like, yeah, I, I don't think I'd heard of them. Assuming they are, of course, who I'm thinking of. Whoa, what's this guy? This guy okay. was awesome. So, in conclusion, they've done a metric ton of like licensed games, Disney stuff. Zach some of them Cody really games. good. Some of them not. Um, <laughs> Oh, One okay. That is so weird. The they, they, they did like Drake and Josh the game, and then they did Dante's Inferno, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is what? like I'm not sure how popular. Like, I, mean, I know what it's about. I know what the game is. It's like a like a hack and slash, like Devil May Cry. Sort yeah, of but thing. what what what's Drake and Josh like? <laughs> <laughs> You're not asking Drake the right Josh, question. Drake and Josh GBA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, Drake has the to masterpiece go to of our hell era. To, to free his wife. Oh, wait, no, that's Dante's Inferno. Oh, I uh, see. <laughs> Dante's, Inf Dante's Inferno it's is just a the Drake and Josh meme, just like, about where are we? Do you see where we are? <laughs> I repeat things for emphasis. Emphasis! This is great. They did, um... Wet. One third person shooter, it's just called Wet, and the box art is just this Whoa. woman and Oh no! Running. Oh, this this guy just grabbed me. Okay, that was quite I, I I like this enemy a lot, but it's mildly terrifying. I don't know if I like it that much. Oh, you stun oh, it cool. with your tongue! Oh, that's how I did it. Oh, that's really, really cool. Matt, I... Th this is seriously becoming one of my favourite games at the moment. <laughs> I really like it. I have played some games where I'm like, okay, if I was a kid and I was playing this, I, I would, like, I'd put this on a pedestal. Where has yeah. it been all my life? I, it's just astounding that just no one talks about it. Like, you'd think for, like, even as, like, a, like, a passing thing, like, just be like, oh, yeah, have you heard about this game, Scalar? But, like, no one ever talks about it. It's a shame. Oh, right, yeah, I tongued the acid. That's I didn't good. actually play a lot of games when I was young. Mm. It's so weird. Like, I didn't really, like, yeah, I had a PS2, but, like, so did everyone else. And, like, I don't know, I just didn't play, I just didn't care, I played like, I must have played like, I just cycled between different games. Like, I really liked Spongebob, so I'd play Spongebob. Yeah. Or like, Battle for Bikini Bottom a lot, right? You know, uh, stuff like that. Or, like, I grew up with Tomb Raider, so I, I got Uncharted because it was similar. That yeah. was the whole big thing going around, like, oh, it's, you know, it's like that, it's, like, it's a bit like Tomb Raider. So I played that, and then sort of just after that, that was when I started to pull the pegs out. I was like, right, okay, I want to play this, I want to play that. And I um, was a lot of people are the opposite. They like when they're kids, they want to play every game under the sun, and then it like boils down. It sort of condenses down to like, right, I only like three games. Yes, <laughs> mine the opposite. It's like, oh, there's too much variety. Damn it. So how did you stumble upon Kingdom Hearts? Oh, have I told this? Uh, mm, have I told this story before? Okay, so my mum brought home two like PS2 games. One of them I couldn't remember what it was. The other one was Kingdom Hearts, right? She bought Kingdom Hearts for my sister. Oh, okay. Right? She didn't even like play games. She just got you know because we were both kids. It's like we'll get because you know, like video games. They're just they're just electronic toys at the end of the day. You know yeah. like you you buy them like okay you can play this one you play that one right. And then I started playing Kingdom Hearts and then I liked it. And then that's the story. That's all she wrote. Fair enough. And I found it difficult because it was nothing like I'd played at the time. A lot of yeah the I was gonna say I, like a lot it's of the quite stuff different. I'd played were like. Um, 
Okay, f f Kingdom Hearts 1, for kids, it's a little bit cryptic. Yeah, here and there, yeah. You know, like... It sure is, yeah. I agree with that. I, I can see what you mean. But, still, phenomenal gameplay. I actually and like cryptic games a lot though now. Yeah, I mean, you you played Tomb Raider, so... Yeah, so, <laughs> it, it, like, because that's what I grew up with, it's like the standard now. You know, it doesn't matter, I could be playing like Super Mario or something, and I'd be like, it's not cryptic enough. <laughs> Nintendo, you're personally insulting me, and they're, and they're just like, mate. Nintendo, you're not a target audience. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this! I'm grabbing oh, all it the works that. above and below too. Oh, okay, yeah! That's, that's cool. This game gets better! <laughs> Yeah, no, you're just like Mario. Where's where's the butler? Why is he not in my my fridge? Why I don't I don't care. I guess uh, speaking of Mario, Mario's gonna get nuked this month. Oh yeah, which is just what weird. is all that about? I don't understand yeah, I don't... what Nintendo's business plan is, like at all. I don't understand why you would stop people from buying a game for like if it was. If it was a physical only version that you were stopping, I get it. <laughs> it's fair enough. It's a limited edition physical release. Cool. Uh, I have a theory. But you wanna hear my theory? Yeah, sure. I think Nintendo, I think they're playing 4D chess. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. What they're doing is, right? They're trying to make the current generation of people, or maybe the generation before them, they're trying to make the people who didn't grow up with Mario Sunshine. And Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to make them, they're trying to like psychologically trick them into thinking they grew up with the game. Like, no, you didn't, you, you only knew what this game was like recently. Right. So that years from now, three, four, five years, right? They'll, they'll say, oh, Mario Sunshine game, you know, they'll they'll have like a false sense of nostalgia, huh. and they'll be like, oh yeah, I remember Mario Sunshine from so many years ago, three years ago. Um, wow, I want to buy it, you know, and it sort of makes it more precious. That is a very interesting. Yeah, theory. it's weird. I think no, I th I think they're smarter than we we let off. I mean, Possibly. when I say smart, smarter, I mean smarter in like a, um, in, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like, insidious, sense. like, yeah. kind of, like, oh, what's that word? Um, uh, what's the word when something's not completely ethical, but it's quicker? Alright, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating now. Like, Nintendo are unethical! Yeah, I, I <laughs> No, I, I think that's quite poor. Holy mother of God, you're big. Because <laughs> not a lot of people grew up with Sunshine. It was, it's like, I feel like a lot of people who, you know, talk about how much they love Mario 64, they've never played like Sunshine. Yeah. Well, I've I played suppose. Sunshine before. 64. No, the first time I played 64, I was in the hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. I've like, uh, I never told you this story. I had a uh, flu. When I was a kid, I had a flu in my legs. I couldn't walk. Oh, I had wow. to get a flu in... Okay, flu in your legs does not sound very scientific. Yeah. I had a flu, and because I was, like, six or five, I, I, I couldn't, like, stand up properly. Right, oh wow. Because I was just very weak, and I was in the hospital, and they had Mario 64, they had a Nintendo 64, and I played Mario 64 while I was there. Huh. And they gave me some apple flavoured Mulo yogurt, and I spilled it on myself in front, of nice, in front of the nice nurse, and I got upset. Because <laughs> oh. she was a nice lady, and I spilled yogurt all over myself, and I didn't want to look like a... <laughs> I didn't want to look like a baby, even though I was. <laughs> Sweet. No, I'm not five years old. Well, I am, but I'm not. <laughs> what now I'm permanently associate Mary 64 <laughs> with a yogurt. So why is he? Why is he being a mime right now? 
Oh, they're doing a Jack and Daxter where he eats sort of things unique. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> where the first... The... Well, I'm, I'm still thinking about the time where the first one, he went he literally insane. <laughs> <laughs> Egg insanity. But, sure. Uh, have we completed everything? Objectives. Yes, we sure have. Yeah, we're the best. Hey, Leon, guess what? I'm going to buy stuff. Um, enables you to charge up additional bombs. What should yes, be please. worth like 11,000 and you're like, oh no, I spent all my... But you can't tell. Yeah, I can't tell. I, I had, had 11,400, so we'll see how much I have after this. It's probably worth like six grand. I'm fine with that. Nice. He's so... Oh, it's only worth three grand. Oh. That's that pretty good. That was cheap and cheerful. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna charge You've unlocked the ability of nuke. <laughs> Yes. Nuke breath. Uh, it's it's my it's my bombs, my electric bombs. I can uh, I can charge up another one, so I'm going to oh, do that. Because I may as well make sure I have them. I knew there was going to be more. Like look under that bar top left. Like there's two of them now. I knew there was going to be enough for more of them. There was no way there was only going to be one. Probably have like three, three or four of them later. Like yeah, that's probably more. But cool. What a fun level. So it was a, it's just a good little time. It's just it's just a fun game. So is Leon is he like an activist on his planet, on his dimension? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It's funny like an activist from Earth meets backstory. an activist from like Lizard World. Mm. So they, they have a lot in common even though they're like I, I was protecting the humans from the lizards on my planet. Oh hello, is this first boss? <laughs> 